Reminds me of the days of yore when I don't know, I can't remember anything. <laughs> oh hey, I can remember this guy's name. I think his his last name starts with a G. Do you guys know anybody whose last name starts with a G? Uh, Gary? Not at all. Gary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think it's Gary. Buddy Guy! Buddy Guy! Oh! Thank you. What happened to Buddy Guy? I saw him uh, with Jeff Beck recently. <laughs> you guys know who Jeff Beck is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright, cool. I'm old enough. Yeah, that's alright. I'm an old fart. Mike G, is he around here anywhere? Oh, yeah. Mike G. Oh, Mike G, everybody. <laughs> they say that he's like Stephen Jesse Bernstein reincarnated Woo. with a 40. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than a needle in his arm. Uh, thank you. Mike G, everybody. Yeah. Yay. Just testing. I, uh, hey, buddy, go blue. Go, go blue. blue. And Ohio State. And UNLV. <laughs> and the go sports. Ah. So, uh, I have sports some, uh, for us? Yeah, there's going to be sports. Um, there's also going to be traumatic inauguration day memories with Mike G. So. January 20, 1969, I'm 20 months old, and my mom reports that I threw stuffed therapy animals at the black and white TV every time Tricky Dick opened his fucking mouth. January 20, 1973, I was in kindergarten. It was terrible. Very terrible. A poem just happens like pregnancy or cancer. My friends, it's been a traumatic day. I finally had to throw away my moldy Hillary Chia Pet and armpit ruined, never washed, feel the burn t shirts. The sociopath groundhog electoral commands six more months of winter. Three words for that illegitimate bastard, not my groundhog. Ice and snow can suck my poem. When I was five, grandma took me aside. If you're gonna be a poet like Uncle Ernie, I wanna be a fireman, grandma. You need to have a quick mind and always be alert and aware, alert and aware. No, I wanna be slow. Slow kids are happier. Get all the girls. Alert and aware, alert and aware, alert and aware. Consider Consider Uncle Ernie Grandma. After he won that poetry prize, he became a miserable drinking pissing machine. I want to be a fireman. Alert and aware, alert and aware, alert and aware. What goes in must come out. What goes in must go out. Alert and aware, alert and aware. What goes in must get pissed out. Yeah, Tragically, I lost the war with her. I became a quick-minded, alert, and aware, drinking, pissing machine poet like Uncle Ernie. Tragically, <laughs> Facebook is an accurate, inquit, macabre reflection of my own mind. Meanwhile, Dharma the skeleton leaps from the field of activity into the pond of emotional response. If we could just stab money in its heart and be done with it, maybe the craziness gone, wisdom god crawl wrong could be less awful. And maybe boys could go back to pink and girls back to blue. And we'll each pen a poem in lieu of presents at money's funeral. Shh, baby, there's a mutant up in the tree. After the inaugural, I stepped outside, the kids screaming at stunned adults, You can trump immediately off! Trump you! Go to your rooms, the adult said. My tooth is on her last route. Mostly we are Lux playthings. Hey, artist, got a dollar? Thought not. Breaking news, <laughs> Valentine's Day 2018. Black helicopters appear over sanctuary cities as Trumpy the Musical, written by me, plays such super hits as Grab That Pussy, Fake News, and American Carnage. Beep! This is a future alert from the emergency broadcast system. Uncle Trumpy tweets from the bunker, Hey, Pelosi, I need more pussy down here! Bring... <laughs> Hello, make America great again, let the buyer beware, goodbye. 
<laughs> the default condition of the human species is suffering. In medieval times, they used to pull teeth to entertain crowds. Jesters all around, everyone drunk, victims holding their faces in Hieronymus Bosch agony aspect. Breaking news from divorce court. Husband, as an optimist, Your Honor, I've always focused on the donut instead of the whole. <laughs> Wife, if you would have focused on the whole a little more, we wouldn't be here. I'm 100% supportive of my girlfriend's decision to go on her one-way trip to Mars. The less I know about something, the more likely I am to act as if I know. Regards, nearly everyone ever. Another fake news alert, another oversimplified meme. Meanwhile, Cadillac skipped the auto show again. Fuck Cadillac! I gazed upon the kids' play area with desperate longing. As a liberal, I am so terribly offended a poet just wrote this last week. The door to the bunker slams open. Tonight we do it my way, Uncle Trumpy sings, eyeing with interest Ivanka's bleached butthole. As liberals, because we're tolerant of all lifestyles, there's one issue we can stand proudly with Trumpy on, Russian prostitutes peeing on each other. Liberals, unlike fascists, judge not fetishes. Isn't it nice that we and Trumpy share an issue of some importance? Can I ask you for a favor, the patron says. You may ask me a question, I say. Co-worker said the woman who wanted to sneak into the auto show for free was clearly on a mission. A mission that I aborted. There is a movement, the ten-year-old neighbor girl says. It's towards stupidity. I'm not part of it. <laughs> is your mind going to be fast or slow, grandma says. Fast or slow? I'm five years old! As a little boy, retro metal hair curlers turn me on. I have to at least pretend to exist so I can pretend to get my paycheck. Brenda calls daily to say goodbye in case the world ends. When I was very little, I believed little girls had little flowers between their legs, actual flowers, and when they became women, the flowers became more beautiful. As a liberal, it's a no-brainer I rooted for the Patriots. Massachusetts voted for her. Georgia voted for him. And by the way, Tom Brady is my lady no matter how deflated his balls. <laughs> After the future Anti-Art Act passes, I'd like to be tossed in the poet camp where we can play cards, chain smoke, and read to each other about the old open mic days while being raped by Uncle Trumpy's prison guards. Hey. At Oregon Children's Feet, Theater's Fly Guy, a delightful story about a little boy whose only friend in the world is a fly. I say bye kids, have a great day, thanks for coming. A little girl with big brown eyes looks up and says, I'm going to be deported. Grandma says we're going to eat grass. Okay, see you next time. There won't be one, she says. I'd like to die knowing the last poems written, sledgehammering the flower poems, butterfly kissing the lives of everybody poems, no more lines in the mind to lay down, tapping my shot glass to the reapers, take me, I'm ready. Alert and aware, alert and aware, alert and aware, what goes in must piss out, what goes in must piss out. I've come to know love as that never-to-be-paved, unfinished road with me balls deep in the mud, waving a white hanky of surrender with no help coming. So fucking happy that others are finally with me. I've wanted to feed the system its own ball since the Carter regime. I'm sick as a human, said the horse. The sacred's always wandering off for a dark corner make-out session with the profane, and I like it that way. Still trying to figure the gorilla to fish sequence, your hair's bouquet on every page of every book, and how when these big things happen to us and we're alone in the cosmos of thought with no help, we don't know where the contact's going to come from, or whether God's strolling on the next unfinished road, muddied with the tears of coming so far, so sad, so struggling against this gravity parody of Am Empire Monopoly, born millennia ago without a hint of gender, and studying Hebrew in preparation for heaven. And in these private moments we find in ourselves that first limp-wristed fish that fathered and mothered all the poets who strive, evolving fingers so we can text our I understand and I love you and let's live and please don't die yet, I need you, please don't die yet, I need you. Meanwhile, Puddles the Poodle touchdowns in the Puppy Bowl, celebrates by licking her butthole much as Buddha or Jesus would have done, accepts the celebration penalty with humility, grace, 
unapologetic joy. Meanwhile, a mother just kissed her five-year-old out of a coma. Tanzania erupted into a spontaneous outbreak of laughter, and billions were once again saviors to each other today. I asked for the good news section of the New York Times and am laughed at by everyone, so I'll write it myself. I've decided to walk to China. Finally, the latest breaking news from Uncle Trumpy's Palm Beach, Florida state this weekend, Melania Trump stumbles upon dozens of Donnie's haunting macabre self-portraits in a secluded attic room. In many of these paintings, Trumpy appears badly disfigured, covered in welts and oozing sores, with severely burnt flesh, screaming in extraordinary agony. It was the most horrifying thing I've ever experienced in my life said a visibly upset Melania, who recalled stifling a gasp at the sight of an ornately framed painting in which the man she married sits behind his desk with half his facial skin torn off to reveal the bone and musculature below while black bile pours from his mouth. At first I wasn't even sure what I was looking at, but once I got closer and saw how many times he'd drawn himself with dark empty holes where his eyes should be, I nearly fainted. There were just so, so disturbing. In one, he's wearing a clown makeup and has this completely vacant smile spreading across his face. And there are so many of them, she continued, trembling. He must be up there painting every night. After looking with some trepidation through self, several dozen self-portraits sitting on easels scattered on the floor and in a few cases torn to shreds, the Slovenian-born former model said she inspected the dates in the corners of her husband's canvases and came to the unsettling realization that his art had only grown more unhinged over time. I'll lie next to him at night trying to will myself to stay awake because I know the second I close my eyes all those horrible images will start swirling around in my mind again. But what's worse is that after a while I'll look over to his side of the bed and it's empty and I know he's up there painting again. And with that, I have a stuffed therapy animal for Melania I'd like to give her. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 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 oh, I need some.